All right, me and Josh are out here today, nice spring day, and we're tearing down our tree stands that, you know, we want to make sure that we got new straps on them for next year. They don't get totally grown into trees and things. And I climb up to take those two down. You see back here over my shoulder, and there's a coon sleeping in one of them. And he's something wrong with him, or he really had a late, hard night last night, and he's totally passed out because he didn't wake up. So I got me a stick. I'm gonna go up there and poke him and try and get him out of my way. We'll see what happens. All right, Josh. Yeah. If this coon jumps on me and bites me, okay. and he comes down, you gotta kill him because I don't want him running off and have to go through rabies shots right. without testing him. Okay. There he is right there. He's sleeping there by the tree stand. Let's see if we can wake him up. Hey. Hey, Coon. There. There he is. He was just sleeping hard. There he goes. There he goes. Get the hell out of my way. Can you believe that? That was coon for something's kicking my ass. This is a good day for coon to hunt, that's all I gotta say. Hey, coon! Hey, raccoon! Come on out of there. Hey, wake up. Now that's what you call adventure. That's why I'm down here. <laughs> well, this is the second tree I've climbed up in today and got up close and personal with raccoons. And uh, this one here, is right here atop this hole. And I'm thinking, oh, there can't be another coon in there, can there? And them something else. You know, they're not a band or anything. I'm gonna put them right back in the hole here. Mama take care of them, but aren't they just something? Aren't they just listen to them? And and I tell you what, coons must sleep hard because that's the second one I've been right up in the face today, and they wouldn't move until I touched them with a stick. I didn't know this one had babies in there, but anyway, I'll put the little guys back. <laughs> 